That was the sound of the other jar of names because the jar of names is quite empty at the moment. Right, so let's get out a name. We shall go for this one. This one is... Well, this video is for everyone, including, but not excluded to, Nick Pro. So, yeah. Stick that name back in there, then. Right, then, so welcome to A Cup of Tea in a Podcast. Uh, this is the cup of tea. Which is cold, because I've left it for about three hours. Because procrastination. Uh, but, yeah, but this is the podcast. So, then, uh, let me find my list. I suppose we should say goodbye to... Uh, August and hello to September because this is technically the first podcast for September even though we're late but more on that later uh, so yeah so hello to September how are you good as always same as last year good uh, you can go down to my comments down below you can go to my skip list if it's there and you can skip to this week's update this week's topic this week's book club this week's question and this week's goals update right then so as I just mentioned uh, we this is the first episode in it September that should be in it September because we are sort of back on track properly we're back on track once all the let's plays have been uploaded this week before monday which hopefully should happen and then we'll be back on track which is just fantastic and i absolutely love it i love being back on track and i'm going to keep up top of this this time because so far i've been doing very well with a couple of adventure so hopefully it will carry over to everything and hopefully everything will be fine which is great uh did say i'm back at college now as well um what day are we on this is going to be up on the friday uh yeah went back on the tuesday because now my shifts at work and college would be uh tuesday Nine to three, Wednesday working, uh, Thursday all day, Friday uh, the afternoon, and then Saturday ten hours at work. So yeah, I've only got Sunday and Monday off, which, is, like I said, is that's when I'm going to be recording now instead of Thursday and the Friday. Uh, but I might have to record it like a week in advance. So like I said before, uh, two weeks in advance. Sorry. So like I said before, uh, if it might take me a few weeks to hear your responses to things. Like, if you tell me something over in that direction, I might have already got it or I might have missed it, depending on if I took it into consideration or stuff. Because, like I said, there'll be a big backlog of uh, when I've recorded from when I upload. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how that goes. What will happen uh, for next week? Because I'll be recording that one, like, a few days before because um, I, that's just how I am because of catching up and stuff. But, yeah, that, that will be the original goal. That will be the eventual goal where uh, things will be recorded two weeks in advance. Right then, anything else for this update? Yes, there is actually. Um, this week, we are going to have the last Fable adventure video. It is out on... after everything's been uploaded. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll be out sometime before Monday, probably the Sunday. Uh, it's an hour long, because I thought, why not? Might as well. Um, but yeah, that's finished. Uh, so what's going to happen after that is we're going to start a new Let's Play, which we'll talk more about that next week, and in the Fable video and in the next LP video. You can probably guess what it'll be, though, because I haven't done one in a while. Um, but that will probably take uh, the Tuesday and the Thursday slot, and then the new Let's Play will start on Monday. No, the Azura's Wrath will start on the Monday, Wednesday, and the Friday. So we'll have three a week of them, and that will be finished very soon as well, which means we'll have to have another Let's Play soon as well. But we'll see how that happens. But that's it for the update. Let's go on to the topic. Let's go on to this week's names for the videos. Right, so we'll listen to the podcast right now. That is this thing you're listening to. After that, we'll have a Bioshock 2 episode called Pass the Phone, which is how I thought you pronounced Persephone, that's it, I have to think about it myself. Then after that, we might have a Ezra's Wrath video, it might be a Bioshock 2 episode, it doesn't really matter at the moment, it's going to obviously make more difference when it's next week, when we're caught up. Uh, it's either going to be called Song of Swords, or Space Ballad, I'm not sure which one yet, if you have, if you have a preference let me know, because I probably might be able to uh, take your thought into consideration. It's basically, we're playing with swords in space, and there's just an epic song, so uh, let me know which one you think. Uh, after that, we've got a Bioshock 2 episode, which might be one of my favourite titles ever. It's called Dad's Army, and obviously I'm a big daddy, so I think it's just fantastic. Uh, last week was a good one as well, with Azura of Star Command. I like that one as well, uh, but that was probably a good one as well. Uh, and then, after that, we'll probably have another Azura's Wrath episode, unless I've mixed up the order, and it's called Yes by Riku, because my theory might have been correct. And then we'll have the final episode of uh, Bioshock, which I won't tell the title, because remember, it's linked to the first title, so if you know the sort of air reference or the pun that we're going with you probably had a guess what it will be if you remember the first title of episode one of bioshock 2 you probably guess okay then but uh, before actually no because we're sort of on track now i'm actually going to tell you uh which what the hint is for the next couple of revenge video because that'll be out later today but the hint is why don't you see penguins in britain we'll see that we'll talk about that later you can think about that as we go along okay then, but let's move on now to is it book club? It is. Still reading Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Read a bit more than I did previously. 
uh, and I've got to the part where I won't spoil it for people, but when they f- discuss and interrogate the Neapolitans, who are people from Naples, um, and it's just a, such a good scene in the book and the film and the TV show. Sorry, uh, it's very funny, but at the same time, it's very sad. Um, more so in the TV show where they sort of explain something like because they burn something down, and it's sort of more sad in that sense. But it's still quite funny, especially and then they say they keep getting up and walking away and trying to bother the Jonathan Strange. It's just fantastic and funny. But it's cool. But yeah, good book. Um, still getting there. Just obviously it's going a bit slow now, but still a good book. Uh, I would recommend it. Let's get on now to the community section. Uh, we should start with the Mention Monday. So these are the people that commented on last week's videos, or the week, or the videos since uploaded after the last podcast and before this one, uh, excluding the last Azura's Raf video. We have Max Ravage, Horrier, 40k Warrior Man, and Eli Gannon. So thank you all for commenting. Uh, back on track soon, so it'll be better when we're back on track, because everything is better when everything is back on track. Uh, after Mention Monday, we have the Q&A. We have a question this week, or shall I say a riddle, from the new 40k Warrior Man. I mean, the new what? The new Dragon Lord 555 one. The new Lord of Dragons. No, I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> we have a riddle from 40k Warrior Man who's taking up the mantle from the Lord of Dragons. He says, I shall take up the mantle. Fear not. Let us hope. I don't put any repeats for riddles. They have been going for quite a while, which is true. And the riddle is, what begins with tea, ends with tea, and has tea in it? A fitting start with tea for the channel. Now, I do believe I know what this is. Uh, it starts with tea, ends in tea, and is full of tea. It is a teapot, because it starts with tea, ends in tea, and is full of tea. Teapot. But, uh trying to think of a pun for a chocolate teapot but can't think of one anyway uh, let's go on now to subscribers then so last week we were at 1202 this week we've gone up to 1204 but we've got three names great maths there don't know how it works but there we go all right then so we welcome to the community callum pizza green thief underscore underscore and alexander nissen okay any relation to alex the great there and callum pizza I want some pizza now. And Green Thief, please do not steal my green things. What green things do I have? A bottle. That's only about it. Oh, wow. Oh, no, I've got plants. I forgot I had plants. <laughs> please do not steal them. I love them. Okay, question now then. So last week's question was about what base would you have? Quite a good question because a lot of people answered. In that sense, I mean, anyway. Uh, yes, and maybe this will be used later on in some sort of channel lorry type thing if I can do it, but... We'll go on these now then. So we have a response from Mac Ravage, who says he would love to have his own castle-like stronghold with wolves. Wolves have been a big thing with Max Ravage this week. We'll talk about that later. But yes, his own castle-like stronghold in the snow, obviously. Because, you know, cozy adventures. That's what I'm learning about in my course at college. Cozy adventures. It's about what you would expect to see with certain things. Like in the Western, you would expect to see desert and Stetsons. And obviously with a a castle-like stronghold with walls, you would expect to see some sort of snow. Anyway, Horia, he says, I would like a hollowed-out mountain, every size mountain, of course. Uh, outer walls should be around a kilometre thick. Uh, there should be a weapon assembly line, a mine, some entertainment, and undead dragons standing on guard. And he would like a giant dragolich carrying a mobile fortress castle, which is just super detailed and just super amazing. I like the idea about the hollowed-out mountain. I've always had this idea like in like my like a story um like they find this strange land and there's a tower but it's built inside of a mountain and it's basically like quite decrepit but then as they sort of grow up the land the land sort of, sort of expands like think of it like a little floating rock first it sort of grows and big gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as they sort of increase their technology they increase their knowledge of the land they increase all this sort of stuff and as that happens uh the tower obviously starts to become bigger and more technology and more upbeat and less decrepit and it sort of destroys not destroys the mountain but it sort of gets rid of the mountain around it as it gets better so it's sort of like it just be- it's built up from the mountain sort of thing and sort of like the mountain just obviously disappears every time and just leaves a tower in its wake that's always what i've liked so i like that idea of a hollowed out mountain but i feel like your castle and tower and stuff would be a little bit more um what's the word a little bit more uh sinister that's it Fort k warrior band says if it is supposed to be a hidden cave if not a castle uh, he says castles have great plenty of room, uh, somewhat imposing, and it works for a knight type or an overlord, perfect for morally be- morally questionable adventurers. So yes, either a cave or a castle, maybe a cave castle. 
that'd be quite cool. Like you go through a cave and there's a castle in like this hidden cove on the other side, which sounds a little bit like the Rapunzel Tangle, the Rapunzel Castle Tower, sorry, from uh, Tangled. God, that's a mess. <laughs> I'm going to give up now. Anyway, this week's question is: uh, What are you studying at like, college or university, or if you're at school? Uh, because I know a lot of people have gone back to uni right now, uh, especially Dragon Lord five 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 one one six six. Two two Lord of Dragons, because uh, obviously he's not here at the moment because he's uh, getting ready at uni. And I know Horia has said something about horror, uh, uni this week as well. So I'm interested in what people are studying. I'm studying a media course, um, focusing on production. Uh, hopefully going uni next year, which we'll talk about more towards the time, which I've mentioned before. And I'll be doing film production or TV production, that sort of thing. But yes, uh, cool. Moving forward on to this week's comments. Yes, plural. This week's not really a single comment. It's more of a continuation of last week, more like an update, I suppose. But the conquest continues um, with what is going on. And I've just realised I've put something in the wrong place on this week's comment. Uh, but So that's fine. On my document, I mean. But yeah, this week uh, it sort of goes to uh, Horia is one, uh, because uh, he's saying he has to put the, his conquest of the comment section on hold because he's going to uni. Uh, and he start, ended it with hashtag Horia Empire, which I thought was great because now we have a hashtag. Get on that. Uh, we're also going to go to uh, Max Ravitch, who has continued with his Wolf Conquest or the comment section. He's been doing very well, so congratulations. You seem to be taking over from your former master. The coup was a success. Um, maybe he pl planned it at the bright time as well for when uh, Horia goes back to uni. Clever boy. Uh, and then also it goes to uh, Eli Gallon, who has joined in with the fight and has claimed one of the comment sections of last week as well. OK, then, so let's move on now. I need to turn my page over. Let's just get it out from my clipboard. There we go. So goals. What are we talking about this week with goals? So last week's goal was to... What was it? It was to upload the podcast by Friday or Saturday. Um... And yes, I've done it on technically the Thursday, because I recorded it on Thursday and I haven't been asleep yet. But it'll be out on the Friday. But uh, yeah, you know what? We're back on track. We're getting back on track. It's good. We're ahead of what I said. So hopefully I can get all those extra Let's Plays out by uh, Monday. And then we can get the podcast out on Monday when it's supposed to be out, which is just great and fantastic. And I love that. But yeah, we'll see how that goes next week. <sighs> And that leaves us now at the outro. So a fairly quick-ish podcast, not as quick as last week, but, you know, not too shabby. But yeah, finish the cup of tea now, the cold one. Yeah. Still nice, though. Yeah, and that's it then. Uh, yeah, so I'll say uh, until the next time we eat, farewell. Next time we see each other will be hopefully Monday or the podcast, whenever I see you next, whichever one it is. And I will say what film, but before I do that, I want to tell you what last week's film was. It was Conan the Barbarian. I might start saying what these things are. Maybe it'll get people more interested in trying to guess what they mean. But now I will leave you with a proper one of what film do you know who Maui is? <laughs>